everyone! So today I will be doing my review for the Pure Beauty CC Cream. And uh, it actually came in this really pretty pink box. Okay, so let me read to you what the box says. It says, Pure Beauty Complexion Corrector CC Cream, Pink Flower Complex, um, SPF 30, Pay++. Plus Plus. And uh, I got the shade in natural. It says here corrects uneven skin tone, conceals skin imperfections, whitening, moisturizing, and refining, and dermatologically tested. And contains eco cert ingredient. And actually, what caught my eye with this um, CC cream is obviously the packaging. And because it said paraben free, lanolin, -f I don't know if I'm saying it right lanolin, paraben free, lanolin free, and alcohol free. So this one contains 40 ml of product and I got it for 399 pesos from Watsons. I think this was made in Korea. Yeah, made in Korea. So um, I was very interested to get uh, the CC cream and when I went to Watson's, I actually got this last April pa, so matagal na rin. <laughs> so I got the shade in natural, I just winged it since I thought ivory would be too light for me. This is what it looks like, and let me blend it on my skin. As you can see, I think it is a good match for my skin tone. Now, uh, as you can see, the CC cream has a sheen to it. It really gives a dewy effect on your skin. So yeah, since it's made in Korea, I think that's what most Koreans like, a uh, dewy finish, right? I think it has a floral scent. It's really good. But uh, I think I like it. It's Hindi naman mabaho. It's very, it smells very good actually. Parang, parang nilagyan mo lang ng perfume yung una mo, yung mukha mo. And it has a very liquidy consistency. And what I like about this is that it's very lightweight on my skin. It, it just feels like I don't have anything on my skin actually. So now I will bring you closer so that you will see how the product looks like when applied So welcome to my super zoomed in face. So, uh, here's a closer look of the uh, bottle. Just looks like this. And the box, here's a closer look. There, so as you can see, it was 399 pesos in Watsons. It's such a bummer because when I went back to Watsons, it was only 299 pesos because they were having a sale. So, that's a bummer. Well, I did buy this last April pa. So, uh, if you want to purchase this, be sure to run to your nearest Watson so you can have 100 pesos off. As promised, I will now apply it on my face. I'll probably just use this much and I'll just use my fingers for this one since as they say uh, the best tool to use for CC creams and BB creams are your fingers so that's what I will do so as you can see I'm just dotting it on my face Nilagyan yung ano, yung isang side para you can compare. Hindi ko na lang muna ibiblend yung isang side. I'm just gonna blend one of uh, this right side first. So you can compare. So this is the side with the CC cream. <laughs> Sorry. May mga ano. And this is the side without the CC cream. So as you can see on this side, um, it's a bit more dewy on this side rather than on this side without the CC cream. And my redness are kind of uh, concealed with 
on this side, which is the one with the CC cream. So it just evened out my skin tone. I think it did a good job at that one. And let me blend this part right here. I actually placed a uh, too little amount on this side. So let me just add some more. I'm going to add this on some problem areas on my face so that we can see how it looks like when you add a second layer but actually I just like using one layer for this CC cream since I think uh, it is enough anyway I just use this uh, I just use this on the days when uh, I don't want a full face like I just want to even out my skin tone that's when I use this can see that's how it looks like when you add one more layer and andali ko ano um andali ko mag sweat <laughs> when i use the cc cream there so it's not completely concealed but it's better than when i didn't use the cc cream so I'll just pat this on my problem areas. It does conceal them just a bit. Hindi naman yung full coverage talaga. Okay, so this is how it looks like when applied on my entire face. And as you can see, um, some redness are still peeking through. But uh, this pimple scar was concealed. Um, some redness are still peeking through. You can always use concealer after using the CC cream, but I don't think I will use any concealer today because I'm just hanging out in the house. So, yeah, I'm just going to leave it like this. And as you can see, it does give a very dewy effect since they don't know if you can see it, but the CC cream has tiny bits of shimmer, just very, very, very tiny particles of shimmer. I think that's why it gives a very dewy effect on my skin, as you can see. Korean effect talaga yun, nabibigay niya, no? So here's a closer look. So since I have very oily skin and I cannot go out with just CC cream on my face because my face is going to oil up that you can fry an egg with it. <laughs> so I'm just going to use this. Fashion 21 Loose Powder. I'm in the shade number one. So I'm just going to powder my face a bit. Para lang makontrol ang aking oil factory. <laughs> Alright, so uh, this is what it looks like after I applied some powder. And as you can see, it's not totally matte, it's still a bit dewy, but not super shiny, right? So it is now 1.52 p.m. and I'll be back in a couple of hours to give you my first update. Hello everyone, it is now 3.22 p.m. and this will be my first update. So it has been like two hours since I last applied the CC cream on my face. And let's see how it looks like. So I see that I am already a bit shiny on my nose area and a bit on my cheeks. On the forehead, not uh, really shiny yet. So I think that it still looks pretty good. It looks really good actually. Um, it has, as I said, it does have that very dewy effect and my natural oils just made it even more dewy. So it still looks pretty good. My skin looks really healthy. It has that really nice glow and I really like it. So I'll be back in a couple of hours with my second update. Hi guys, I'm back for another update. It is now... 6 53 p.m 
and over five hours have passed since I last applied the CC cream on my face. So let's see how it looks like. Whoa. I'm super shiny on my T-zone, even on my cheeks. Can you see? So I think this CC cream is only good for between three to four hours. Uh, that would be like the only acceptable shininess of your face because it's kind of gives uh, it kind of gives a dewy effect so your your oiliness looks three times more than it actually is because of as I said all of the uh, shimmer plus nagluto pa ako, so that's probably one of the reasons I'm just going to blot my face Rabio. Check <laughs> out all that oil. Grabe. Napuno yung blotting paper. So this is how my face looks like after I um, blotted all the oil. And yeah, it still looks uh, acceptable. Meron pa ako ano bronzer so i guess that's a good indication right pag meron ka pang bronzer yeah it's still holding up quite good and i'll check back at the end of the day to give you my final thoughts everyone so this will be my last update it is now 10 20 pm so over eight hours have passed since i last applied the cc cream on my face and so, so let's see how it looks like. So, um, I don't know if you would be able to see, but it is kind of shiny on my nose bridge and on my cheeks and a bit on the forehead as well, but it doesn't really look that bad. It still looks pretty good. But uh, as you can see, that pimple or that pimple scar, um, some of the CC cream has already faded on that part and some on, uh, some on the cheeks as well. But on my under eyes, uh, some are still holding up and on the forehead as well. So it's not really long. Uh, it's not really a very long-lasting CC cream, but it did hold up for at least um, six hours. But um, since I have very oily skin, you just need to have your blotting papers ready or your powder, and you would be good to go. You would be able to uh, go on with your day and not worry about your oil. Just have some blotting papers ready, as I said. So for me, I don't think I will be using it for... Um, every day. I think I would only be using it if I will just go to the grocery store or just go to church when I will just be gone for probably an hour or two. And yeah, um, also I've already owned this CC cream for a couple of months now. Um, I actually tried using it as a base for my foundation and most of my foundations have a matte finish. So this actually really looks good as a base, since it gives an extra oomph to your foundation. It gives you a really nice glow, but it doesn't make you look shiny since you mixed it with a matte foundation. So that would be um, something that I would recommend if you have oily skin like me. So um, would I repurchase this CC cream? If the price is 399 pesos, I will not repurchase it since um, it's kind of high maintenance since you have to blot like every two hours if you use it alone. And if you just use it as a base, I don't think 399 or 400 pesos would be worth it or is it's not up my alley as a base. So yeah, those are my final thoughts and uh, I hope this review helped you to think uh, if you want to purchase the CC cream or not. 
and if you like this video please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more reviews and also comment down below on what kind of video you would want to see next i'll talk to you guys later bye there's an airplane passing by What I uh